Hi guys, Dave here, and um, if you haven't seen the movie Tekon Kinkrete, um, it is amazing. It is from the manga by uh, Tayo Matsumoto, and the film is directed by Michael Arias. So, incredible film. I just recently picked up the uh, art of Treasure Town, which is basically all of the backgrounds to the movie. And I have a lot of art of books, you know, art of Star Wars and, you know, art of Avengers and whatnot. And I think this is probably the first book that I have that's just solely the backgrounds uh, from the movie. And I couldn't resist because, as you're about to see, it is amazing. It is colorful. It's uh, beautiful. It is, um, you know, just popping off the pages of this book. So the detail is just amazing. The work that these guys put into this film, wow. You know, I haven't seen a film this amazing uh, since probably Akira. So check this out. If you haven't seen the film, um, it's uh, about two characters. They're probably roughly between 10 and 13. And they're two boys. The older one is black and uh, the younger one is white. So um, they basically bounce around the city being kids. The um, city is uh, called uh, Treasure Town and it's a city run by the Yakuza. And, you know, you, you kind of wonder throughout the film, you know, is this a city run by the Yakuza or is this a city run by black and white? Because, you know, they tend to just create so much havoc around the city and, you know, you, you get all these upstart kids that come up and try to take the city over and, you know, black with his uh, his big metal um, pipe, just you know, smashing them in the head, and you know, just flying out from nowhere in the sky, and you know, and then white on the other hand is very timid, and you know, he's he's kind of making up rhymes and singing little songs, and you know, it kind of seems like he doesn't know what's going on around him and the severity of of the whole situation, but. It's also funny because the Yakuza, the Yakuza and, and also the police seem to really, you know, just um, really care for these kids. You know, you, it, it seems like, you know, they're, they're indirectly kind of taking care of them and, you know, and, and making excuses for them and saying, you know, they're just kids and, you know, you can't really do that because they're just kids, you know, don't, don't hurt them and you know, so on and so forth, but at any rate, they're, you know, they're kind of like the Lost Boys, so look at these pages, they're just so beautifully rendered and the colors just pop out. This, I believe, is the, the bathhouse that, you know, where they, they take a bath at because they're basically street kids, so they don't, you know, they don't have a house, they don't, I don't know what happened to their, their parents, but you know, I don't even know if they're brothers um, at all, or they're just two kids that met on the street, and Black being the older one, possibly around 12 or 13, uh, takes care of White, and just, you know, that's just kind of like his sole purpose in life. Right here you see this car, this abandoned car, where they, they sleep under this bridge. can see it's just like very industrial and but wow these backgrounds and, and, and the detail and the color and the illustrations like kudos to these guys and the way they made this film the heart that they put into it I believe that uh, that Michael Arias had uh, he had read the manga somebody the manga sorry uh, somebody had uh, 
introduced the uh, manga to him and uh, he had something to do with the Animatrix. I think he may have um, directed uh, the Animatrix and after reading the manga he uh, approached uh, Taiyo Matsumoto and, and you know, basically said, hey, you know, I want to I wanna make this, this uh, manga into a film. And so they did. And it's just, it's gorgeous. So there's a map at the beginning of each chapter and it kind of lays out where you're at, you know, and where the kids are at in the film. But you can see this tower here and um, this is basically where Snake, he's kind of like a rival uh, gang member to the Yakuza. You know, he's in this tower and he's looking down and, you know, he's got these three henchmen and, you know, he wants to build this uh, amusement park and he um, basically wants to get rid of the uh, Yakuza boss and uh, Black and White. He wants to get rid of the three of them so he can build this amusement park and kind of move uh, Treasure Town into the future and move it forward, so... So here's White and he's in the hospital after uh, being confronted by one of the uh, henchmen and uh, he's pretty badly hurt. After that happens uh, he's pretty much in the custody of the police and they kind of set him up uh, in this room where he uh, he kind of just draws and you know draws pictures and plays and stuff like that all day and he's, he's kind of removed from black at this point. So here is kind of like the alley where where white meets one of the henchmen and I mean the whole the whole city just looks like you know you're at the circus there's just so much going on and and detail and this amazing park with this octopus slide and these little, you know, weeble characters that you can kind of sit on and, and rock back and forth on and, you know, some are uh, in the shape of pandas and bunnies and stuff like that. So yeah, so here's the room that they kind of convert. I think it's an interrogation room, but they kind of convert it into a little room for white. And, you know, he's just drawing pictures and, you know, wondering what's going on. And here's some of his artwork here. Which I think he actually lives there. So it's kind of interesting that, you know, they... He kind of just put this kid up in this interrogation room and kind of convert it to like a like a kid's room. But who takes care of this kid, you know, when no one's at the station? So, and then the construction that's going on and, you know, kind of tearing down some old buildings and propping up this, uh, you know, this amusement park. And you got Black here and he's kind of on his own. You know, he's kind of just wild now and just now that he doesn't have the responsibility of taking care of uh, White, like he's just, just going nuts. Just violent rages and A few last uh, illustrations. Some coral and some shells. Some fish. 
the kids are just, you know, enjoying the enjoying life and just jumping into the water and whatnot. And I think this was actually at the beginning of the film. I could be wrong, but you know, I think some notes here from the book. And I always like to take the dust jacket off and kind of see if, you know, there's some sort of illustration or something. And um, this particular illustration is one of the drawings that, um, that White did um, in the um, interrogation room. And I think it's a, an illustration of, uh, of black. Let's see if I could get this all in the camera here. Uh, not so much, but um, you get the idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book um, as much as I have. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And until next time, see you later.